everyone, it's Courtney and welcome back. Today I have a makeup tutorial because a lot of you have been requesting them, so ask and you shall receive. And this is gonna be my first one brand tutorial. So today the brand I'm doing is Benefit. Um, my last makeup tutorial was like drugstore, so I thought I would go high end with this one and I love Benefit. Plus they just came out with their new color push-up liners and mascaras as well. So I thought it'd be really fun to kind of experiment around with it. And when they released the colors, they actually came up with this picture over here of Honest Leia. And basically her makeup is very like pinup style retro kind of mixed in with that so I thought I would draw some inspiration from that and create my own kind of fun colorful look please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more one brand tutorials and I'll definitely do them and let's get into the video okay so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my skin and I'm using the benefit dr. feel good which is kind of like a really unique primer it's supposed to like smooth your fine lines and everything but it has like a cool consistency. It has like more of like a balm, waxy sort of consistency. And it says you could apply it over your makeup as well, but I just prefer under. I feel like putting it over might be a little bit strange feeling. Next, I'm using this Bigger Than BB Big Easy Foundation, and it's a really cool and lightweight foundation. And what's really cool is it's liquid, but once it sets, it kind of feels like a powder. It has a really cool consistency, and it's lightweight, but has like a good amount of coverage. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm sorry if you guys could like hear thunder. It has been storming for like two weeks here and it is just getting, it's getting old, <laughs> really old. Do you guys see this mark up here? It's from like a bullet shell. <laughs> I went shooting and it kicked back and got me in the forehead. Next, I'm going in with a race paste, which is a concealer. And I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eyes. Of course, we can't forget my bullet wound. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to just kind of warm this concealer up a bit and blend it out and kind of get the best coverage. Next, I'm using the Hello Flawless Powder, which I have had for ages. I love this stuff. I'm just going to kind of set everything in place for my brows I'm gonna use the instant brow pencil which I really love the color on this one this is in the shade deep but it has more of a cool tone to it so it just really looks nice with my brows but first my hair is kind of like driving me crazy today so let's just clip it out of the way I've been kind of going for like a more feathered brow look lately, so I haven't been doing them like as defined, just kind of filling them in really slightly. And of course you guys know what bronzer I'm gonna be using, the Hoola bronzer. Um, but I'm actually not really gonna contour too much. I'm just going to warm up my face. So I'm just using like a big old fluffy brush and just kind of like placing it in my cheekbones but not just kind of like buffing it out just to kind of add some warmth but not like anything crazy so for blush I'm using Coralista which is just a gorgeous it's a coral color but it has a just it's really really pretty um, and natural looking and just kind of like glowing I really love it so just get a little bit of that And now I kind of feel like you guys might know what's coming next since this whole strobing thing has been like so huge lately. But this highlighter is gorgeous. It is one of my favorite and it's the Girl Meets Pearl. It's just like a really cool highlighter and I like the way it applies. It has like this really cool design and the product just comes up from the top when you twist it. So you just need to give it like one twist or so. And I just like to dab it. Look at that shine, it is gorgeous. So now let's blend it out so it's not 
too crazy. But I love this. It is one of my new favorite highlighters. For my eyes, I'm gonna do a really simple eye. I'm using the Big Beautiful Eyes palette. And what I'm going to do is take this light shimmery color and place it all over my lid. And then I'm just gonna do a very, very subtle cut crease and just use the slightest bit of this dark brown color. And I'm gonna take a more dome shaped brush, take a little bit of that dark brown and just use a really, really light hand to start working it into the crease. Now comes the fun part with the liner and mascara. We're gonna add a lot of color, have some fun with it. So I'm using the purple push-up liner um, and I love these. They're so cool. If you've never seen them before, the applicator is really fine and we're gonna be doing a cat eye today. I'm gonna start by just lining my eyes and then I'm going to wing it out. I'm just going to like stamp it down and just kind of press it and it's gonna make a perfect cat eye. I think this is really great if you're not good at cat eyes because it almost just gives you like the perfect angle and all you really have to do is press it down. What I do recommend is taking a, when you first twist it up, a little bit more comes out of the bottom side of it. So I like to just dab a little bit of excess on my hand and kind of like smoothen the whole applicator out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and also apply this on my waterline. And now I'm just going to take an angled brush and just blend that out a little bit into my lower lash line and make it a little bit of smudgy and smokiness. And I'm also just kind of like taking whatever hasn't dried yet on the cat eye and just kind of bringing it down a little bit and making the edges like really smudgy and smoky. Now I'm gonna be applying the Benefit Bare Real Mascara, but it's in a new color and it's in blue, so it's so fun. I I'm just going to apply it. Then I'm going in with this Ultra Plus Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Bomb, which is just like a really pretty nude-ish brown color. Want to keep the lips really simple compared to the eyes and this is my first time using this lip gloss and i really love it it feels really nice and smooth and it's not sticky at all i love this stuff and the shade is really pretty and there we go here's the final look Thank you guys so much for watching. I know they have like a lot of colors in this line, so I think it'd be fun to kind of mix and match them a lot. So you might be seeing little variations of this in some of my upcoming videos. But if you enjoy this and you're new to my channel, thank you for sticking around. Please make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And also, I've been posting three times a week now instead of two, so make sure you're keeping caught up with all my videos. I'll leave my last two on either side of me, and you can click them if you haven't seen them yet. And anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.